Norman Percival Rockwell was born on February 3, 1894, in New York City. When he was 14, he started taking classes at the New York School of Art, and by the time he was 16, he had dropped out of high school and enrolled at the National Academy of Design. As a student, he received smaller jobs, but his first major breakthrough was when he illustrated the book, Tell Me Why, Stories About Mother Nature by Carl H. Claudy. He also worked for the St. Nicholas Magazine before beginning his career with the Boy Scouts magazine, Boy's Life. Here, his first magazine cover, Scout at Ship's Wheel, was officially published in 1913. He married his wife, Irene O'Connor, in 1916, the same year that he painted his first cover for the Saturday Evening Post. He painted over 300 covers for the magazine. His work mostly depicted everyday American life and important historical events. For example, he celebrated Charles Lindbergh's crossing of the Atlantic. He did portraits of the presidents, including Eisenhower, Kennedy, Johnson, and Nixon. He also painted foreign leaders, including Nasser and Nehru. Rockwell painted covers for the magazine according to the seasons and holidays as well. Rockwell depicted many situations dealing with the war because he lived through both World Wars, the Korean War, and the Vietnam War. He himself wanted to be in the Army, so he tried to enlist to fight in World War I. However, he was eight pounds underweight, so he was denied. That night, he went home and ate everything he could find that would make him gain weight. The next day, he tried to enlist, and this time he succeeded. However, he never fought because he was hired as a military artist. The 1930s and 1940s were Rockwell's most fruitful periods. He remarried to Mary Barstow in 1930, and they had three sons. He depicted them in several of his paintings. They moved to Arlington, Vermont, a small town which inspired many of Rockwell's paintings. Some critics said that he didn't paint real American life, just what was considered ideal American life. Rockwell replied by saying, Maybe as I grew up and found the world wasn't the perfect place I had thought it to be, I unconsciously decided that if it wasn't an ideal world, it should be, and so I painted only the ideal aspects of it. The artist depicted the life of women in the 1940s quite a bit. They were always seen worrying about clothes or ignoring boys, which was partly how society viewed them during this time. In the 1940s, Rockwell also painted the Four Freedom series. Franklin Roosevelt commissioned him to do them in 1943, and they became immensely popular. They were freedom of speech, freedom of worship, freedom from want, and freedom from fear. The paintings toured the United States and raised money for the war effort. The 1950s saw much more of that ideal life that Rockwell talked about. He depicted sports, mostly football and baseball. Everything from the players, to the cheerleaders, to the fans, and to the referees were painted. He also painted the adventures of American children during this time. The 1960s saw the depictions of typical American occupations. It also saw the modernization of the post, so Rockwell changed his painting style somewhat to fit with the new magazine. In 1959, Rockwell remarried to Molly Punderson after his second wife died. With her encouragement, he left the post and began doing covers for The Look. These covers dealt more with social issues than any of his other works. The most famous, The Problem We All Live With, that dealt with civil rights and racial integration. This painting, along with others he did with The Look, features a black person in the center, something he wasn't allowed to do with the post. In 1977, Rockwell received the Presidential Medal of Freedom from President Jimmy Carter for, quote, vivid and affectionate portraits of our country. Rockwell died on November 8, 1978, of emphysema. Throughout his life, Rockwell was depressed, especially when his second wife died. His psychiatrist, Eric Erickson, said about him, You paint your happiness, but you do not live it. 
Rockwell is one of the most prolific painters in American history because of his depictions of American life. He will be remembered always for capturing the culture and values of America with paint.